Hi, this is Trevor Evenson from Big Panda. Welcome to the first installment of the Getting Started with Big Panda video series. Future installments will dive deeper into the end to end setup process for the Big Panda platform. Big Panda's no experts required setup can be broken down into six steps out of the box integrations, normalization and enrichment, correlation, environments, collaboration and sharing, and user management. In this video, we will provide an overview of each, and subsequent videos will provide more in depth information into each area. While the product was designed to be easy to set up, feel free to reach out to our support team via our in app chat if you have any questions. Big Banding can be run under three operational models Unified Console, where all incidents are managed inside the purpose built Big Panda UI, Smart Ticketing, where Big Panda acts behind the scenes as middleware to enrich and correlate incidents before creating tickets in your ITSM tools, providing the benefit of Big Panda's alert correlation within your existing ticketing workflow. And Hybrid, where some teams, such as the NOC, manage incidents using the Big Panda UI, and other teams, such as L2 and L3, work on escalated tickets via your ITSM tools. It's important to note that you are not locked into a specific model. As your organization evolves, so too can your operational model. The first step in the setup process is integrations. Big Panda provides pre-built integrations with more than 50 monitoring and change tools. For tools that don't have out-of-the-box integrations, or for your homegrown tools, you can leverage the Big Panda API. Our configured integrations are visible on the Integrations tab. Selecting a new integration shows us all of Big Panda's available out of the box integrations. Monitoring integrations allow Big Panda to receive alerts from your monitoring systems such as Datadog, Dynatrace, and New Relic. Many users start by integrating these systems. Change integrations allow Big Panda to receive change notifications from your change systems such as CloudTrail, Jenkins, and ServiceNow. To create a new integration, click Integrate. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions to configure the integration. To learn more about setting up integrations, please watch our Getting Started with Integrations video. The second step we'll discuss is normalization and enrichment. Big Panda ingests raw event data from monitoring and change systems. Before it is correlated into incidents, the data is normalized into a standard format and enriched with contextual information. Normalization is the process of converting raw data into standardized key-value pairs called tags. Monitoring change tools do not follow a consistent naming convention for key-value pairs. For example, tools may use different values to represent a device, such as host name, node, or instance. Big Panda will normalize this to host. Standardizing tags in this way creates consistency across tools and facilitates cross-source correlation of events. Normalization is done via Integrations and the Custom Tags section of the Settings menu. Enrichment is the process of adding additional information to events such as configuration information, operational categories, and other custom tags to enhance correlation and provide data for easier incident investigation and resolution. Enrichment information falls into two categories. Operational, to help IT operations teams categorize, prioritize, route, and remediate an incident. Examples of this would include category, priority, application owner, and runbook URL. And topological, to provide context on the physical and logical relationships between the alerting object and the rest of the infrastructure. Examples here would include cluster, data center, CMDB, and vCenter host. Enrichment is configured in the custom tags section of the settings menu and via the mapping enrichment section of the Big Panda API. After normalization and enrichment, the data is passed on to Big Panda's open box machine learning for correlation. For more details, please watch our Getting Started with Normalization and Enrichments video. The third step we'll discuss is correlation. Correlation is a method of grouping related alerts into a single high level incident. After the monitoring alert data is collected, normalized, and enriched, Big Panda uses pattern recognition and dynamic clustering to automatically process the alerts into meaningful, actionable incidents. Big Panda provides suggested correlation patterns as well as the option to customize patterns for optimal noise suppression tailored specifically to your organization. As new alerts are received, Big Panda evaluates all matching patterns and determines whether to create a new incident or update an existing incident. 
With this powerful algorithm, Big Panic can dramatically reduce your monitoring noise by 90 to 99% in most environments. Both suggested and custom options are managed from the Correlation Patterns section of the Settings menu. As you add integrations, we recommend reviewing the suggested correlations and creating additional custom patterns as necessary. For more details, please watch our Getting Started with Correlations video. In Step 4, we will discuss the creation of environments. Environments create views of related incidents so that different groups of users can focus on the most relevant incidents for their teams. You can see the environments on the left side of the Big Panda Operations Console. Role-based access control can be used to define the environments that each user will see in the UI. The built-in All Incidents environment shows every incident. Clicking on Other Environments filters and shows only incidents related to that specific environment. Common environments include specific geography, incident severity, and areas of responsibility or teams. An incident can belong to multiple environments. As can be seen, environments can be organized into groups to keep related teams together in the UI. As we will see later in this video, environments can be assigned auto shares to trigger notifications and automatic ticketing. To create an environment, select New Environment from the Incidents tab. For more details, please watch our Getting Started with Environments video. Now let's discuss setting up collaboration and sharing. Collaboration integrations leverage Big Panda's notification webhook to share correlated incidents with your IT teams. Common integrations include Jira and ServiceNow for IT service management and ticketing, PagerDuty and Ops Genie for on-call, and Microsoft Teams and Slack for chat systems. Collaboration integrations differ from monitoring and change integrations in that rather than receiving information from the systems, Big Panda is sending it, and as such, much of the configuration will be done in the destination tool. To create a new collaboration integration, select the Integrations tab, New Integration, Collaboration, then hover over the integration you want to create and click Integrate. This will take you to the step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure the integration. AutoShare rules allow you to automatically share Big Panda incidents that meet configured criteria with the right people and teams in your organization. They are defined per environment in the Settings menu. Here we can see several common use cases for auto-sharing. For an environment that holds infrastructure warning incidents, we see a notification of the appropriate team via Slack. This can be done with any chat solution or via email or text messaging. For an environment that holds critical application incidents, we see automated ticket creation and escalation in ServiceNow. This can be done with any ITSM system. Where auto-sharing hasn't been configured for an environment, Incidents can still be sent to the appropriate team by using the Share Incident button. For more details, please watch our Getting Started with Environments video. Finally, let's discuss user management. User management in Big Panda is divided into three sections. The first is Roles Management. Roles are used to control which resources are available to users and their level of access. You can see the permissions here on the right. The second is User Management. Users are assigned to roles which limit their access in Big Panda to the permissions authorized by their role. The third is single sign-on. A single sign-on integration can be configured to automatically provision your organization's Big Panda user accounts via any SAML 2.0 compliant identity provider. To configure, select single sign-on, select your identity provider, and follow the displayed instructions. When single sign-on is configured for an organization, all authentication requests are routed through the third-party identity provider, and users cannot log in directly to Big Panda. For more details, please watch our Getting Started with User Management video. Now that you're familiar with the steps involved in setting up Big Panda, you're ready to continue to the other videos in the series, which will dive deeper into each area. We want you to be successful in your Big Panda journey, so if at any point you need help, please reach out to our support team via the in-app chat or email, and don't forget about our online documentation at docs.bigpanda.io. Thanks for watching.